Hello, hello, hello. It's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to my Stampin' Up! annual catalog unboxing. I'm so excited to share these new products with you. I placed an order yesterday and selected next day air shipping with all of my favorites so that I could show you all of the amazing things in this brand new catalog. The annual catalog launched officially yesterday on March, not March, May 2nd, 2022, three. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what year it is. Yeah, I need to get some sleep. <laughs> uh, today is May 3rd, and I don't usually do videos on Wednesday night, but I couldn't wait to share with you. Um, I'm working on pre-recording a video for tomorrow night's Thursday night stamp therapy. We've got so much going on, and so I'm going to pre-record and work on casing the catalog, copying projects from the catalog, so be sure to tune in for that tomorrow. But tonight, I wanted to show you in real life on video, uh, all the new amazing designer paper and ribbon and embellishments. I've ordered a little bit of everything to share with you. And now that the catalog has launched, I can show you the inside of the catalog. So in tonight's video, I'm going to walk through the new annual catalog and then show you some of these things in person. I also have a whole bunch of samples to share with you, most of which I haven't shared in a previous video. Some of these are card swaps from other demonstrators and a few other cards that I've made. So I'm going to show you new product and new projects tonight. Now, if you would like to sample every Everything from the catalog without having to break the bank and pay for next day air shipping, you can sign up for one of my product shares. Old picture, but brand new stuff. In fact, now that I have it, I can show you exactly what comes in it. The designer paper and ribbon share looks like this. You're going to get a six by six piece of designer paper and specialty paper for all the new designer papers in the catalog. So six by six stack, it's going to look just like this. You're also going to get a yard each of the new ribbons. And so this is how it's going to come. This is how it's going to look. So this is the first one. This is the annual catalog product share that includes designer paper and ribbon. And I'll show you all of those designer papers today. The in color share is a little bit of all the new in colors. So you're going to get the ribbon, two yards each. You're going to get the treat bags, designer paper, the new shimmer paper, some cardstock um, and embellishments. So you're going to be able to get crafting with the new in colors. And then the optional add-on is the cardstock ring that has um, labels and a ring so you can put together your own little cardstock sampler so you have all of the new colors. I'm so, so, so excited about the product share. So if you haven't already, make sure you sign up. I am extending the deadline just by a few days so you can reserve your product share at tinyurl.com slash AC2023 product shares. The link's in the video description, so check that out. I want to share this card by Natalie Travis. She used the new in colors. This is the fresh as a daisy suite, the backside, um, and one of the new embossing folders to create this card that features all of them. Copper clay, boho blue, moody mauve, wild wheat, and pebbled path. Aren't they gorgeous? I know I'm going to love playing with these. I'm so excited for these earthy tones, especially because my favorite season is fall. So they are right up my alley. Now, really quickly, featuring the new ink colors, I want to tell you about this really quick. Uh, this is the Paper Pumpkin add-on, Exploring in Color Cards and Envelopes. This is something that is available to Paper Pumpkin subscribers that just started yesterday. While supplies last, it is 18 cards and envelopes through, let's see, six each of three different designs. Um, and so this is kind of a sneak peek of the kit. Now, the kit won't be these card um, these cards, it'll be something different, but this is sort of the vibe and the feel, um, of this paper pumpkin kit. So make sure to subscribe to the paper pumpkin kit, exploring in color, which features those new 2023 to 2025 in colors. And then if you want, you can add on these cards and envelopes to make some beautiful cards. So I'm, I'm excited to play with those. Um, oh, this is new too. I'm going to show you this. I just ordered everything. <laughs> this is a new card kit that just came out yesterday. It is called Confetti Birthday Card Kit. And if you love card kits, you're going to love this one. There are three each of three different designs, and they're all shaker cards. Obviously a birthday theme. I love the bright colors, lemon lime twist, the new blueberry bushel. In fact, that's the little stampin' spot that comes in this kit. 
And this last card here, a little present. Aren't those fun? I especially love the colorful envelopes. Who wouldn't love to get an envelope like this in the mail? Oh my gosh. If you love the kids collection, you can find these in the online store at stampinup.com slash kits. You can shop with me at juliedavison.com slash shop. So brand new kit. There are new kits every single month with the kit collection. And each one, not each one, not all of them are stamping kits. But the ones that do have stamps include a little mini stamp set, a block, and a little stamping spot. So you can build your stamping collection through the kits and get all the materials that you need to make some cards all in one little box. Oh, I love it. Are you guys ready to see the new catalog? Oh, we're going to give you a quick note really quick about shipping. So Stampin' Up! Um, had a record-breaking April in so many different ways. And they are still maybe... Oh, I think now they've caught up with the, the free shipping day orders. Um, it is taking... I would say at least 12 days for um, for shipping orders. So if there's something that you want to order and you want to get it right away, I highly recommend using um, the expedited shipping options, either the two-day or the next-day air. Um, you're going to pay a little extra for it, but if you're really in a hurry and want to get your stuff quick, then you have that option to upgrade your shipping so that you don't have to wait and you can get it right away. If you don't upgrade your shipping, um, it's going to be... Um, a solid two weeks before it ships and then whatever the transit time. So for us in the middle of the country, it takes a good week usually for orders to get here. So um, if I used standard shipping, I would probably expect uh, my order to arrive in about three weeks. So just a heads up. If, <laughs> um, you know, if you need it right away, then use one of those quicker shipping options. Um, but I like that we, we have the flexibility. So Without further ado, let's dig in to this catalog. I'm so excited. I have flagged all the pages that have sweets. And so um, today I'm going to focus on just the sweets, even though there's so many amazing things that are in the catalog, new dyes, new punches. I will highlight a few of those, but I'm not going to go into a lot of that right now. So let's just jump right into the sweets. I love that Stampin' Up! has coordinating products that are all kind of um, organized and grouped together and they call those suites. So we have an item number where you can purchase the entire suite and get the whole thing, everything that matches, or you can buy individual items like the bundle or the designer paper. And this suite, bright and beautiful, has a specialty paper. So let me show you what's in this one. Um, so we've got a six by six designer paper. And when you get a six by six designer paper, that means you have 12 different patterns. And so you're gonna get four each of 12 different patterns. This suite in particular focuses on some of the returning and new colors. So we've got a lot of them in here. Sweet sorbet, not sweet sorbet. <laughs> lemon lolly, <laughs> lemon lolly, berry burst. Uh, Bubble Bath, some Azure Afternoon, Pretty Peacock, Lost Lagoon, Blueberry Bushel, Lemon Lime Twist, um, Misty Moonlight is in here too, some Fresh Freesia. Did I say Azure Afternoon? Because that one's in here too. <laughs> so many colors. And I think that is my very favorite part um, of the suite is the bright, fun colors. This has a specialty paper included in the suite. It is a 12 by 12 paper and it's a, an acetate that has silver on one side and gold on the other. So you can have some flexibility in how you want to use that. And it looks really amazing to kind of layer these together and create an awesome card. Um, I wanted to show you some additional products that aren't part of the suite, but really coordinate nicely. The first one is this specialty paper. I think it is called um, the Shimmer. Let's see. It's number seven, the soft shimmer paper. And so this is kind of, it's not a glitter paper, um, just sort of like a sparkly paper, but it is really flat and smooth. There is nothing that's going to flake off and it is coming in some of those returning colors. So Pretty Peacock, Lost Lagoon, Berry Burst. Um, this looks like Night of Navy or Misty Moonlight and then Fresh Freesia or Bubble Bath. So this would coordinate really well with the suite, although it's not included in the suite. It also comes in 12 by 12. Um, and this paper is included in the product share as well. Um, there is a ribbon pack, which I think goes nicely. Again, I don't know that it's supposed to. It's 
It's not in the suite, but it coordinates really nicely. This is the Sheer ribbon pack, and it comes with three ribbons. And I have to say, when I saw Sheer, I really thought it was going to be like kind of more of a see-through organza, but this is, it's almost opaque. It's, it, you can't really see through it that well. It is sort of sheer, like you can see through it a little bit, but it's really beautiful. I, I love it way more than I thought I was going to. And we've got uh, Lemon Lolly and Bubble Bath and Azure Afternoon. Those are the colors. So again, it coordinates really beautifully with this suite, even though it, maybe it's not necessarily meant to go um, with the suite. Oh my gosh. The other thing I have to show you, I'm so excited about this. Um, this is definitely coordinating with a suite, but it is not included in the suite item number. I, I think I flagged it back here. Maybe it's this one. Yes, <laughs> the bright and beautiful memories and more card pack and the cards and envelopes. And I got a sneak peek of these at the home office when I was there for the Million Achiever Retreat, which is something that very few demonstrators earn and achieve. I have to say that every time I talk about it, it's crazy. Um, and so I just, I knew this was such an amazing pack. And so I wanted to grab it. So you can find these on page 135. Let me open up and show you really quick what these look like. I'm going to just stick a ribbon there. So I know where I'm going back to. Um, so the memories and work card pack, this is meant for like pocket memory keeping, but it's memories and more. So it also works really well for making cards or other projects. It has the same bright colors that you're going to see in the same kind of imagery that you're going to see in the um, bright and beautiful suite and just such fun cards and designs. Ah, I love this even more than I love the designer paper. I don't know. I just feel like the, the patterns here are so much more um, bright and bold and beautiful. And um, you're seriously the best. Um, I don't know. I just see myself using these a lot, especially I can see myself making cards to send to Claire when she's away at college um, and quick little birthday cards or tags. Um, and for memory keeping, right, you can use these for journaling and put them in your album. So these cards are all three by four and the package also includes some cards. I love that. <laughs> it also includes some cards that are four by six and these are the bigger ones. So we've got, um, again, just so bright colors. I just love this so much. Today is the day you can do it. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. So you have to add this to your next order. Although I will say I am thinking about doing a retreat or class or something box in the mail, and I'm definitely going to feature this. So if you are thinking you need to <laughs> prioritize your purchases, know that this is something I will be highlighting in the future. So um, definitely so much fun. And then some self-adhesive die cuts. And there are coordinating cards and envelopes, and they just have sort of the same colors. Let's open this up and take a quick look at this um ow, oh I just got a paper cut okay I shouldn't be rushing <laughs> just take a breath <laughs> okay so the cards and envelopes there are two different designs okay so kind of um, I, I love it when they keep it simple and not too busy. So you really can layer on top of it. Okay. And then look at these envelopes. Oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> Looks like the envelopes are all the same. So we have 20 envelopes and 20 cards, 10 each of the two different designs. Do you guys love it? Oh my gosh. Give me a thumbs up on this video. If you are loving this bright and beautiful memories and more card pack, because I think it is I think it's kind of amazing. <laughs> okay, bright and beautiful, memories and more, page 135. You probably overlooked it because you were so focused on everything else. <laughs> it is easy to overlook. I'm coming back here. I highlighted this um, in another video, I think in my pre-order, and I shared some projects, but I do have a couple swaps I received that use the designer paper, and so I wanted to show you those cards before we move on. This first one is from Natalie Travis. Looks like I got to swap with her a couple times. <laughs> I love how she used little pieces, one and a half inches there, one and a half by three inches to highlight that amazing designer paper. This one comes from Karen Titus. Um, just highlighting some paper and using the, the is it Circle Sayings? Is that the name of the stamp set? Um, and then here's one that I made using the um, 
the bumpy, <laughs> the basics 3D embossing folders and stamping and die cutting some of the balloons. And then the last card, oh my gosh, do you love this? From Cindy Bauman in Hawaii. She is always making little hula girls. And this is the cute little monkey stamp set. And I just popped it in here because she's that bright and beautiful. But is that just the cutest thing ever? Oh my gosh. Seriously, so freaking adorable. I'm so happy I got Cindy's um, swap card so I could share this with you. So, so stinking cute. So you can see it's not just for the balloon stamps out. This bright and beautiful designer paper can be mixed and matched with different stamp sets to create beautiful cards to celebrate lots of different occasions. Okay, let's move on. Our next tab is the Le Shop sweet. <laughs> this is French. It means the shops. That's what L-E-S, le. And that's how you say it in French, le shop. Uh, and so this is a 12 by 12 designer paper. Uh, I have to say it, it's not one that's like high on my list. Um, it doesn't do much for me, but it's super cute. Um, and so if you love, if you love shopping or if you love Perry, Paris, I think this is such a really beautiful suite. Let me show you the designer paper. Um, and we have, again, this is 12 by 12, so I just cut it down. And this is the size you'll get in the product share. So that's what I love about the product share is that you get a little bit of sample of the designer paper. So you can just, you know, make a couple cards with this suite and, um, and try it out. And if you don't like it, you don't have to get more. And if you fall in love with it, then you can always order another pack and get more. The colors here are really beautiful. Calypso Coral, Petal Pink, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, Balmy Blue, and Misty Moonlight. Got some nice little background there on the side. I don't have the bundle to show you, but there also is some sequins, the loose silver sequins. Um, and they come in a little container like this. And it says silver, but I mean, they're really, I would say like more white or clear. Um, those are going to be really fun for shaker cards. And I like to just even put the loose sequins on, um, onto cards with glue, liquid glue. So, uh, really beautiful. I kind of love that. And let me give you a little close up in the catalog here. We're on page 30, um, how they just created a little shaker card with the shop. Le shop. <laughs> oh, it's so fun. Okay, so that is this one. Again, um, I'm, I'm not sure how much I'll be using it, but um, but we'll see. Maybe we'll make something fun with the designer paper. I love that we have these big images that we can kind of cut out and create with. Our next suite is the Zoo Crew. Oh, this was one of my one of my favorites that we could pre-order because I think these little critters are just the cutest. We have a 12 by 12 designer paper, so you got six different patterns, and each of the six patterns has one side that is white with the different um, animals, some of them colored and some of them more black and white, and then the back side of all the paper is black and white. So very classic designs here that you can mix and match. Um, there is an image on each one of the sheets that is die cut and coordinates with the stamp set and dies. So there's a die to go with at least one of the animals on each page. So this one is the um, alligator and this one is the raccoon and this one is the knitting llama. Um, oh, the turtle, the singing turtle. And then um, we have the ballerina the um, leopard. And this one is, oh, the squirrel. <laughs> I don't think he, or, or skunk. I don't know why I thought that was a squirrel. I think it could go either way. Um, so stinking cute. Okay. So part of this suite, we've got the designer paper. We've got the stamp set and dies, which I didn't get out to show you because I've shared that before and some ribbon. So this is another dual pack. It comes with both of these, which um, is petal pink and it's kind of got like a subtle ribbed design there and then the stitched lemon lime twist really really cute ribbon I love that let me show you some cards I shared some others in my pre-order and then I've got some swap cards this one is from Deb Snyder I really love how she used some die cut squares um to kind of it almost looks like a window doesn't it with uh um with the the llama that's a llama right 
<laughs> yes. Um, and then this one, oh, there's a name on it. Let me see if I can open it up. This is from Kelly Atchison. And I love how she just kind of used that whole sheet of designer paper and then added the sentiment embossed in white. And our last one comes from, I'm going to put it back here in the envelope really quickly. Our last one is from Susan Elise Morton. And she watercolored and die cut the alligator and used some of the designer paper for that. You were too wonderful. Oh my gosh, so cute. I think this is one of those that you either love it or you don't. <laughs> you either love cute little cartoon characters or maybe it's not your thing. Um, either way, you get a little bit of that paper in the paper share if you want to um, give that paper a try, but maybe don't want to commit to the whole suite. <laughs> Our next thing is, um, oh, the Countryside Inn suite. This one is really dynamic, and I shared it in my pre-order video, and I showed you the way the dies work and the big stamp, and this stamp set goes well with it as well. Today, I'm just going to um, show you, did I skip one? No, my paper is just out of order. Um, today I'm going to just show you the designer paper. Um, Mom and I will be featuring this in an upcoming video for Sunday stamping, so um, you'll see some more project ideas there. This is a 12 by 12 designer paper, um, and so we have these beautiful blues, balmy blue, misty moonlight, boho blue, night of navy, um, and one side that's a little busier, and then always the flip side is a little more subdued or subtle. Um, with these fun patterns inspired by countryside inns, right? So like a little cottage. And then this one coordinates with the embossing folder, which I don't have on my desk right now. I will tell you the embossing folder was more popular than they expected and is currently not available to order, um, which means the suite as a whole will not be able to be ordered, um, but you can still order the designer paper and the stamps and the dies um, individually. I think the date for this is the end of May, May 29th on that embossing folder. So just a heads up on that. If you're trying to put in the whole suite number and it's not working that is that is why um, because that embossing folder is out let me show you some swap cards made using this amazing designer paper the first one comes from bonnie o'neill i love the color blocking here with the different designer papers and then the circle sayings and then we've got this one from gwen duckworth really simple just kind of showcasing that designer paper this one from Ann Clemmer really kind of shows that large stamp image um, and how you can use that as a background. And then we've got this one from Kathy Miller. And this one has the die cut, um, the die cut countryside corner um, labels. And then finally one that I made here, um, just kind of simple with the good feelings stamp set in the center and the die cut labels. Oh my gosh, so pretty. I love, love, love the blues, and I'm excited that we have Misty Moonlight back and a new boho blue, which is featured in this suite. Okay, that is Countryside in our next suite. Oh, this one is so special. This is called Earthen Elegance, and while I was in Utah for the Million Achiever Retreat, I got to have a little class with um, Julie and Vanessa, who are two of the product designers. Um, at Stampin' Up. And so it was Julie who um, created the ceramics for um, this um, this designer paper. So the pieces that you see here in the background are the actual clay tiles that Julie worked on and carved and glazed. Um, and then those images were used and photographed to create the designer paper that you see. So all of it is based on pottery that was designed and made in-house by one of the Stampin' Up! Um, product designers. So I just thought that was so, so cool. This one I think is my favorite one, um, and that is kind of based on that glazed design. And the 2D designer paper just does not do this justice. Um, it really is so beautiful. And I got to see those actual clay samples in person while I was in Utah. It was really, it was really awesome to, um, to see them and to meet Julie and hear about how um, she created the, the, the pieces and the designer paper and really like the inspiration behind this. Now, fun fact, this one is actually available in Spanish. Years ago, we used to have a, um, 
what they call it. I think it was just the Hispanic um, catalog. And we had a whole bunch of stamp sets in Spanish. And they just didn't do well. And so Stampin' Up! stopped carrying them. Um, and this one is our first kind of test to see how Spanish stamp sets will sell. So if you're interested in the earthen textures, but in Spanish, um, then you can get that. You can find it in the online store. I believe this is just a North America um, test. So if you are overseas in the South Pacific or Europe, I don't believe that the Spanish stamp set is available um, in those markets, but it is here in the United States. So check it out in the online store. Um, and it has the coordinating dies, which are really beautiful. And this ribbon, this is also part of it. It's called the natural one quarter inch wavy trim, kind of like a, a twine, a jute. And I just think it is gorgeous. I especially love, let me show you a little up close, how they have wrapped it around the die cut vase there, the jar, or not jar, I guess maybe jar is the right word. Um, and then here they've kind of like pulled it apart um, to create some wavy like tendrils. So just really such a beautiful beautiful ribbon. And this ribbon and the designer paper are both included in my product share. So if you want to just kind of try out this suite and kind of just kind of see, get your feet wet with it and see what you think, um, then you can do that. It's really awesome. I was just thinking about how they created this so that you could die cut just like this. You could die cut kind of that drip to be um, at the at the top of the pot. So, oh my gosh, so amazing, isn't it? I love how different all of the sweets in this catalog are, right? It's not just flowers, 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 flowers. I mean, we have some flowers and they're amazing, <laughs> but I think there's really a lot of amazing stuff that is different. And I think that's really cool. Speaking of different, a really great masculine um, suite here is the Let's Go Fishing. I say masculine because fishing reminds me of my father-in-law, reminds me of my husband who always loved going fishing. And in the summertime, he takes um, the kids fishing in the little pond here in our neighborhood. Um, and it's not really that hardcore, right? It's just sort of, you know, a pond that's um, that's stocked by the neighborhood HOA, but um, it's still just so much fun to kind of carry on that legacy. This is a 12 by 12 designer paper, and I've cut it down to show you here. Um, and I especially love the colors. Wild Wheat, which is one of the new in colors, Mossy Meadow, Misty Moonlight, Boho Blue, and Pebbled Path. Isn't that just a really handsome color combination? I think it is really very nice. It looks like we've got some coral in here as well. Um, so we've got this, oh my gosh, I love that. <laughs> we've got this amazing designer paper with the fish and the tackle and the lures and, um, and then also just some really great, like, um, basic patterns, the map and the plaid and the, um, the buffalo check. So I think even if you don't have a fisherman in the family, I, I do think that these backside patterns are really good just in general for masculine cards. But if you do have a fisherman, this is a must have sweet. Um, there is an embossing folder, which I didn't get the twisted rope embossing folder just has some really great texture on there. And then a really nice, like versatile two step stamp set here where you're using multiple stamps to create a multicolor image. Um, the sentiments, happy Father's Day, happy retirement, good things come to those who wait. So glad you're my dad and congrats. And this is kind of really cool. I can't show it to you very well. I don't have the bundle yet, but um, it, it's a, a sort of a two step die set that is made to look like a tackle box. Isn't that really cool? I just thought this was something that was really innovative and different. And I'm so glad to see them kind of branching out and doing those different things. Looks like one of the dies coordinates with the designer paper, which isn't surprising. I love it when they do that. So let me know. Do you guys love this? It's called Let's Go Fishing, a new suite from Stampin' Up. I, I can't wait to, can't wait to play with this one. Next up, wow, <laughs> this one is out of this world. I never, ever, ever would have expected a suite like this, and uh, I'm honestly not sure what to make of it. I think it is really fun and bright and beautiful, um, but the like the images, if you have somebody, maybe a grandchild who loves space, 
Oh my gosh, this is amazing. But I think it's really fun too to kind of send um, send to somebody as like a congratulatory um, theme. You know, you're out of this world. You're amazing. The designer paper, like I said, is gorgeous. It is so filled with colors. This is called Stargazing. And so we have these galaxy prints. So beautiful. This is a 12 by 12 designer paper. I've cut it down here for the product share. And so you'll get six by six pieces in that but really bright and beautiful colors and I'm assuming these are going to go with some of our circle punches but we also have some circle images in the die set that coordinate with this um, suite so I'm excited to kind of see what that looks like um, the colors here pumpkin pie lemon lime twist Tahitian tide blueberry bushel berry burst basic black I mean, wow. <laughs> Leave a comment and tell me what you think. This has some very special paper to go with it. It's a holographic trio. It's also 12 by 12. Get a load of that. Wow. I don't know. It looks like um it looks like metal. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just so amazing. And these are more just sort of um, of a iridescent holographic kind of a, a foil. This one sort of has like purple and pink and blue. I mean, just so, so really amazing. I know I'm not, <laughs> I'm usually not so flashy like this, so I'm, I'm not sure um, how I'll be using this. Probably starting with casing from the catalog a lot. I think the holographic paper is going to be fun for like the, the rings of the planet um, and smaller little pieces to kind of highlight. But I think it's really kind of fun. So Stargazing Suite is on page 87, 86 and 87. And um, you'll have this in the product share. So if you want to kind of just, again, sample it, play around with it, see what you think. Maybe there'll be something amazing and you'll really think, oh, I, I really wish I had had a galaxy paper and then you'll be happy you'll be happy that you had it <laughs> next up oh this was fun the inked botanicals I love the colors here and I love the stamp set this stamp set is kind of my my kind of stamping inked and tiled I'm going to show it to you because I did buy it um in fact the bundle is kind of pricey it is $60.25 because it comes with two punches and this is, I want to tell you really quick in case you don't know this, but if you ever have a personal order or if you have a party order, like if you get together with friends and put together a big order, if you're over $450, then you qualify to get a half off item. And so my, I had a lot of product orders for the product shares that were over $450. And so I got several bundles for, um, for 50% off. And this was the first one that I chose. So I was excited to get this one for only $30 instead of 60. Uh, but I love punches and these punches are so fun. Although I have to say, I, I don't really see the connection between the stamp set and and the punches but i love and i'm inspired by the catalog samples and so i think i think it's going to be fun and, and we're going to create some beautiful things um let me show you the designer paper and the ribbon and then i actually did make a couple cards um using the the new bundle so i'm going to show you those in just a second but let's start with this the paper this is a six by six designer paper set and um the colors in here are just really beautiful. When I first saw that, I thought, oh, it looks like um, soft succulent or mint macaron, but it's actually pool party and lost lagoon. And then we also have some crushed curry, calypso coral, and petal pink. So kind of really fun, refreshing colors for fall or any time of year. So I'm going to flip them over. This is a six by six paper pack, so we get 12 different designs. And the base color is very vanilla, which we don't see a lot, but I really love for fall cards. Some of the same kind of um, imagery that we're seeing in the bundle, that's sort of like um, faded and not quite solid um, image. And I, I, I like that style because then if it doesn't scan perfectly, you know, it's not supposed to. This has some ribbon as part of the suite. It's the Lost Lagoon bordered ribbon. And I don't really see that much of a border. I guess just there is more of a um, distinct edge on it, but the border seems to be the same color. Um, so this is the ribbon. It's three eighths, one quarter inch. 
one quarter inch. Uh, really soft, really beautiful. I think easy to um, easy to create a bow with um, to add to your card if you if you like to tie bows and do bows. Um, I don't think we have any embellishments necessarily that are made to coordinate with this one. But let's look at those samples. I was inspired by the catalog sample here. And so the first card, I really wanted to kind of play with those punches. And so I punched out different patterns from the designer paper and I just put them on a note card. So this is the very vanilla note cards and envelopes and really just simple with the designer paper. And then I thought this was kind of fun. I was like, what is that? Is that a die? It is this punch. And so you stamp, um, you stamp the words and then you punch it out and then you can just clip off the top and the bottom so that you have just that sort of angled middle piece. So there are a couple different sentiments, lots of love, congratulations, and the just a note that are sized to fit in that punch. So really quick and easy note card. I love the way that one turned out. And then this card is one that I cased from another place in the catalog. And this is a new die set. Oh my gosh, I love these dies. This is called Nested Essential Dies. Um, I'll put some item numbers in the video description for you. It has um, three different shapes. So one of them is this sort of... Um, pointed label and then rounded corner rectangles and some banners. Um, of course they could be either, either direction. So I use that on the card as well. Oh, so beautiful. Uh, don't you love this one? Like I said, these colors are my jam. They're very, um, very fall-ish. Uh, although again, I think they're beautiful for any time of year. Okay, so this one's called Inked Botanicals. That's the name of the designer paper. And then the stamp set bundle is Inked and Tiled. Because um, I think that's kind of the idea with the punches is that you sort of will tile them. Um, they're great for sentiments or for windows. And I don't know, they kind of remind me of like quilts. And so I think you can make some fun, maybe quilted, quilted cards with that. All right, our next suite is one of my favorites. This is one we got to preview when we were in um, when we were in Utah on the Million Achiever Retreat as well. And this is one that product designer Julie created. And I have to get out the large paper for this. This is a 12 by 12 paper. Um, and so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna find, <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Okay, wow. <laughs> So Julie created this one by tearing paper and creating these landscapes and creating this artwork that was then photographed for the designer paper. And so this 12 by 12 paper you can see has a larger, um, a larger image that you could frame or make a scrapbook page or do something um, larger with here. So we've got this one with the mountains, so, so gorgeous. And the other side is just some more torn paper. This one also has a lot of those new and returning colors, Berry Burst, Lost Lagoon, Lemon Lime Twist, Bubble Bath. Um, and this is one of those that you can cut in half and then cut into, you know, um, pieces to use. I love the kind of newsprint in the background there. So this is something Julie created each of these flowers with torn paper and created this kind of scene that was then um, used and tiled to make the designer paper some more torn designer paper and cardstock pieces. And this is actual paper and embossed cardstock. Like that is real Stampin' Up! embossing folders, real Stampin' Up! cardstock that was created to create this. This one was done digitally um, and she kind of talked to us and showed us that process of how she created um, and used um, the digital program to create. I just am such an awe about art like that. Um, yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite designer papers. It's just so dynamic and amazing. Here again, we've got some torn designer paper and cardstock. And so you can see on some of these, we have a white edge. I'm going to show you something really cool. <laughs> um, and some of them are just the solid color. Because when you when you tear our cardstock, that's what you see is the solid color. Um, oh, look at this one. Here's another one where I think you could kind of cut that and then have your, your strips with this in the middle. Really beautiful. Oh, 
love the colors here this one was also done digitally we've got like that newsprint in the background and the colors berry burst some bubble bath um looks like some shaded spruce in there and the the blueberry bushel at the top i love 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 might be maybe this one might be my favorite i don't know I, I might say that on all of them, though, honestly. Um, pretty peacock here. So gorgeous. Here's another one with the torn flowers and kind of, you know, making that amazing art. So maybe you'll be inspired to um, create your own torn paper art. This one is called Masterfully Made, and it is truly masterfully made. So beautiful. Um, so this suite consists of um, the designer paper. And then it has some adhesive backed sequins. Um, and the colors here are white and pretty peacock and looks like flirty flamingo. Hmm, let's take a quick peek on the colors. It would be back here with the embellishments. Right there, number nine, pretty peacock, berry burst, and white. Okay, so berry burst. That looks kind of more like flirty flamingo to me personally, but um, I love adhesive back sequins. They are some of my very favorite. Um, and this was also a bundle that I got on my first order. And um, I'm excited about some of the dies in this one. So we have this um, sort of notebook edge um, die. So that's a die to create this sort of stitched, looks like a notebook paper. And then the die here is made to look like torn paper. So in this sample, for example, they used one die at the top and one die at the bottom um, to create that sort of look of a torn notebook paper. Gorgeously made, has some pretty simple stamp images in it. But I'm really excited to play around and make some cards with this bundle. It's so beautiful. Masterfully made. I love it. Okay. Next up, fresh as a daisy. This is, oh, no, no, no. Back it up. Boop, boop, boop. Rewind. Boop. <laughs> I wanted to show you this specialty paper. This is something that was not part of the suite, but you're going to find it back here with the other specialty papers on page 127. And it is the white center 12 by 12 specialty paper. And I it coordinates not only in color, but also when you tear the paper, you're going to get a white center and so you can kind of use that to recreate some of the look of that torn paper let me show you let me grab a piece of cardstock here and show you that normally when you have stamping up cardstock it is dyed all the way through and so you don't get that white center um, and so this paper is printed on each side both sides are the color but when you tear it on the inside, you're going to see white. And what's really cool about this is you can filter and then you can sand and showcase that future video. White center specialty paper, and it is included in the product share. So you can make your own torn paper designs with a white paper or white center specialty paper. Really cool. Okay, now, fresh as a daisy. <laughs> this is one that we were able to pre-order, and so I did showcase this in the other video. Really gorgeous here. This one features the new in colors. So we've got copper clay, wild wheat, um, boho blue, moody mauve, and pebbled path. Now this is one, and you can kind of see in the picture here, um, it is one that has different images on it. So in the paper share, you're gonna get a six by six piece that is going to have maybe a different combination of images. It's a 12 by 12 paper, and so um, it includes six different patterns. And each one has the other side that has sort of a distressed solid color image. Really gorgeous. Again, these earthy colors, just I love, love, love it. Um, so this is Fresh as a Daisy. The suite includes the designer paper as well as the stamp set and bundle and some gems. This is the adhesive backed solid gems and the colors here are Lemon Lolly, Boho Blue, and Copper Clay. And I shared some cards that I made in the pre-order video so I won't share those again but I do have some swap cards to show you and so I wanted to kind of share those samples. So this first one is from Angie Leach. This one is Sandy Carlson. 
This one is from Jody Reinhardt. And the last one from Betsy Kreider. Oh my gosh. I know this is a favorite one for many of you. The daisies are just such a classic image. And the, I don't know, the designer paper is not, not one of my favorites, but the stamp set is. I just really love the images in the stamp set. And so I've had some some fun with this bundle and um, again this is another one mom and I will be showcasing in an upcoming video so make sure that you um, subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can um, watch Sunday stamping every Sunday at noon central time you'll see that so this is coming up we're going to feature this one and show you some more projects with it okay was that our last one it was that was our last suite um, and so I have some other designer papers and specialty papers to show you that are included in the product share that aren't part of a suite. And so I'm going to, no, I don't have to back it up. Okay. So first we have the specialty paper and then the designer paper. Let me shuffle my stack around <laughs> a little bit. Um, okay. So first up uh, is right in the center, number six. Some of these I've already showed you, like the holographic paper, the white center paper, um, the shimmer paper, we did that one with Bright and Beautiful. Okay, so right in the center, number six, is More Dazzle. Do you guys recognize this? This color, more of a kind of a champagne color, was a celebration freebie item that we could choose a couple years ago. It's back, and it comes packaged with gold. So the package includes both colors. It is very, very glitzy. Um, more Dazzle is what it's called, and um, it's kind of a smooth glitter. Like, it looks really chunky, but um, it is not very bumpy, and I don't think it flakes off, so that's good. Um, and you get both colors in one package. This is a six by six paper size, so it's exactly like this size um, when you get the package. Most of the other specialty papers are 12 by 12, so that's why I kind of wanted to mention that this one is smaller, six by six. Um, another specialty paper that's included in the product shares, number eight, it is the in color 12 by 12 textured specialty paper. So we've got the in colors Tahitian Tide, Sweet Sorbet, Starry Sky, Parakeet Party, and the um, Orchid Oasis. And we've got both colors and just a very subtle texture, a subtle shimmer, um, really kind of pretty. And I think it will be nice when you're playing with these colors. I'm just curious about the center. That is kind of a a white center there. Um, it's also very lightweight. It's not like a cardstock. It's not heavy. Um, really pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, I showed you most of the designer papers already. Um, in the product share, the annual catalog product share, I did not include the in color or the I didn't include the color collection designer papers. However, in the in in color product share, you will get a sheet of each of the in color. Um, designer paper. There is one designer paper that isn't part of a suite and it's this one here. It's called Delightfully Eclectic and this is a really fun paper pack. Oh, there's two. I lied. This one is something different. I'll show you in a second. <laughs> um, Delightfully Eclectic does not coordinate with any particular suite, although it does have imagery that you're going to see in other stamp sets. This is kind of like one of those jumbo paper packs. Um, in fact, here is a half a package. Um, so it includes 12 double-sided designs and you get four of each design. Okay. So it is literally like four packages of designer paper in one, which is why the price is a little higher um, than maybe you're used to seeing. We've seen a couple of these jumbo designer paper packs as host items in the last couple catalogs. So I was excited that this jumbo paper pack is available to everybody. So you're going to get some in the product share and um, you can also order it separately. So let me walk through these patterns. We've got some swans. This is kind of the same image, although not the same size as that punch. And then um, some flowers here. Very, very, very eclectic. <laughs> um, some different just sort of, you know, stripey patterns. Pretzels, because why not? <laughs> Hearts, letters, grid. This does coordinate and line up with that tiled and tagged punch. So you could punch those out. Some lemons, some daisies. This kind of reminds me of the rope. Oh, I love that one. 
So this is the delightfully eclectic designer paper. And it is very eclectic. I think a good one to mix and match with your favorite greeting set or with any of the stamp sets from the catalog. Okay, the other paper, which I forgot is standalone as well, is this one down here, Glorious Gingham 6x6 designer paper. And um, this has five different colors in all of the same pattern. And they're double-sided pattern. And so the pattern is each the same. So you got this one and then the smaller gingham on the other side. And the colors here, these are some of the new colors. So Pecan Pie, Berry Burst, Pretty Peacock, Lemon Lime Twist, and Blueberry Bushel. So the paper share will include those as well. Um, and you can also get that. It's a six by six paper. It is this small um, when you get it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> we are getting close to the end. I've, I have some uh, pages flagged at the top and I'm going to show you those. There were a few items that I did pick out to show you um, on my first order and one of them I think I have to back it up. So we've got this great um, index here of the punches and by the way the punches on these two pages are shown actual size. So the size in the catalog is exactly how it's going to look when you punch it at home. There is only one new standalone punch. Standalone meaning it doesn't have a coordinating stamp set. It's called Elegant Edge Tag Topper and that is this one. I love the tag topper punches. They are two inches wide and they're made to make a tag. So it's really easy. You can take your cardstock, slide it in, punch it and you have that quick and easy tag. So you can make wide tags that are two inches. You can make smaller tags that are one inch. You can just do the top of the tag. You can do both ends of the tag. You can do all kinds of fun things. So this is the Elegant Edge right here on page 148. The Elegant Edge Tag Topper Punch. And again, that's a standalone one. It's not part of a bundle. Um, and I just thought it was kind of fun. And I love that it creates such a decorative edge without the need for dyes. Because sometimes I just don't like fussy dyes. But speaking of fussy dyes, <laughs> there were two that I purchased um, to start with. One of them I showed you already, the Nested Essential Dyes. These are a stitched shapes and I just like the different sizes and kind of something different from just a circle. So I think I'm going to use these a lot as I already have. <laughs> and then this one is kind of new and different patchwork pieces. It, those are both on page 165 of the catalog. And so it's one die. Well, there's two, but each of the dies will die cut um, all these little pieces inside of it. And so I flagged some pages to show you some samples of what these look like in person since I haven't had a chance to play. So that's what I have flagged here at the top. This one I showed you already. Oh, I wanted to point out this page in the catalog on page 125. Um, we have assortments of cardstock and colors. So you can get assorted cardstock, assorted ink pads, assorted uh, ink refills, assorted marker combinations, including there's a category for the new core colors. So if you already have a complete color collection from Stampin' Up! Um, and maybe you don't want to get um, all of the colors, but you just want to get just the new ones, um, then you can get just the new core colors. So I just kind of wanted to point that out. These assortments you can find on page 125 in the annual catalog. Okay, let's go back here and see. Oh, here is the Elegant Edge Tag Topper Punch. There's a project created with a Tag Topper Punch. And this isn't the tag topper punch. This is the die that goes with the darling details. But I thought it was kind of clever the way that they layered in different colors. And I thought you could totally do that with the tag topper punch and just create different layers um, and different colors. So I'm excited to kind of play with that idea and technique. Okay, um, here's the Patrick Pieces die. So this is what I showed you just now. And I'm going to get a little close up. It's the Life is Sweeter card has it in the background. Just some of those G geometric shapes. And then I also found a sample here on page 93. Let's just open that up and show you. So here they use different colors and stamped. And I just kind of love the way it holds like a, like a sunburst. Really kind of cool. Okay. And then this one. Oh, I wanted to show you some samples with the, um, the, um, treat bags. So the in color product share that I'm offering 
includes all the new in color products and one of them are these treat bags and they're they're kind of plain <laughs> um we've had some treat bags before and i don't know they're they're white with a little like you know plaid pattern in each of the in colors so the product share will include um, five little treat bags, one in each color. And I just wanted to point out some of the samples in the catalog that, um, that use the treat bags. So here we've got this one here with a cute little packaging. This one, they cut it apart and they used it on a card, which I thought was really clever. And then on page 35, let's just go back a couple pages. On page 35, we have another sample where they made a little gift package with it. And on page 115, let me open that up. Oh, this one, so pretty. So on that one, they kind of colored with a blending brush to kind of really um, make that a little more colorful, a little more dynamic. I thought that was kind of cool. So those are some projects with the treat bags. Oh my goodness. Oh, I know what I know what we missed. We missed the embellishments right here. I didn't have that flagged. Why didn't I have that flagged? Uh, well, this year my product share doesn't include embellishments because I have just found that um, when I start cutting these up, they slide around and they get messed up during shipment. And so I've not included any of the embellishments in my product share, just the designer paper and the ribbon this time. But I wanted to highlight and show you some of these new embellishments because they're my favorite way to dress up a card. So this one um, is the one that comes in the Fresh as a Daisy Suite. It's called Adhesive Backed Solid Gems, Lemon Lolly, and um, Boho Blue and copper clay and these are kind of a very subtle faceted circle gem um, next up is right next to it here it's the in color pearls and this is last year's in color parakeet party tahitian tide sweet sorbet starry sky orchid oasis really um, iridescent they're all the same size really pearly colorful really fun i love those next up is the tinsel gems and um, this is number three on the page page 140 and the colors here are misty moonlight fresh freesia and lost lagoon i love those colors these are very similar they're called um oh, so okay this is the tinsel gems three pack and this is the tinsel gems four pack and the fourth color is hiding. What color do you think it is? Yellow. <laughs> the colors here are Pretty Peacock, Blueberry Bushel, uh, Berry Burst, and Lemon Lime Twist. Okay, so these are all the same kind of things. They have like um, little tiny bits of silver tinsel inside this kind of clear gem. So they're the same um, concept and you're getting two sizes, you're just getting different colors. So this one's got three colors, this one's got four colors, and they're right next to each other on the page. Um, it's kind of good to see these up close. I know that, um, I don't know, I just think sometimes in the catalog, it's, it's hard to tell, even though like, are they actual size? You know, I think they are actual size in the catalog. I've never really thought about that before. That doesn't look actual size. That looks big. Um, let's see. Our next one. Oh, these are pretty. This is up here. Number two. It's called Adhesive Back Sparkle Gems. And we got kind of metallic colors here. So champagne, black, and white. I would say silver. Um, and they're sparkly. Really, really cool on those adhesive backed sparkle gems very sparkly um, some more um, ombre matte decorative dots and we've, we've seen these in different colors in the past calypso coral old olive coastal cabana and night of navy on this one so we've got different shades of the colors i'm not a fan i wish they would just do a solid color and i would have them all the same color but that's just me <laughs> i don't know what do you guys think do you like the ombre is it, do you prefer having like different shades of the same color? Maybe it's just me because I make multiples. <laughs> um, next up is the opaque ovals. That's here. That's kind of a different shape. We don't usually have oval gems. The colors here are pecan pie, lemon lolly, bubble bath, and then there's one hiding. Let's open up and take a look. It is Azure Afternoon. So this one does have four colors and they're a pretty good size they're just sort of like domes very i would say very bulky for um 
you know, for male, I think a little probably non-machinable um, on these because they're just, they really have quite a, um, quite a um, profile is the word I'm looking for. Um, as opposed to the sequins that have a very, very low profile, you can kind of see that. These are the neutral adhesive back sequins. Again, I just love these sequins. Um, and these, I'm looking in the catalog. I don't know that they're actual size, almost kind of close. The colors here, we've got metallic colors. So um, number eight, it is copper, silver, brown, and gold. I think I'm gonna be using these a lot. Some more adhesive backed sequins. We showed these, um, what sweet was that? Um, oh, I think it was the masterfully made, wasn't it? Flirty Flamingo, or what did they call it? Berry Burst, Pretty Peacock, and White. And so these are up here in the corner, number nine. Yep, they're part of the Masterly Made Suite. So again, none of these are included in the product share, but you can add a package to your next order. Um, and it's likely that I may include some of them in upcoming like free gifts for the monthly bonus project kits. I do that a lot where I do like half a package or something of um, embellishments. So you, you will probably see <laughs> some of these um, coming from me and definitely I'll be using them. I'm glad to add those to my embellishment box. Uh, last thing I wanted to show you today, which is not included in the product shares, um, but you'll find it in the ribbon, is the in color, um, what do they call it, jute? Um, where's the ribbon? Here's the ribbon. And this one is over here. Yeah, the in color jute twine. And I just didn't include it because it's kind of hard to um, unravel and to wrap it. And so um, I didn't include it. Now this is a lot thicker than like linen thread. So linen thread, I'll get some out and show you. Um, this is, it's pretty, it's pretty bulky, although you certainly could um, you know, pull it apart and use it in smaller pieces. Um, if you preferred to have something that was, you know, not so bulky. Let me get the linen thread out and show you. Okay, so here is some linen thread. And you can see, like, it's a pretty significant difference. The linen thread, very thin, very fine. And so this jute is a lot thicker um, than the linen thread. So I don't know, I think with some of the, um, I could see using this a lot with the um, that earthen elegance suite. Um, I think the texture is right for that. So this one is not included in the in color product share. I just felt like it was very specific um, of a product and harder for me to break up. I've been talking a lot about the product share and it's not too late to, um, to get the product share. I've opened up um, signups for a couple more days. I'm going to put some more orders in. So if you, um, if you want to sign up, you can. The, um, the URL is tinyurl.com slash AC 2023 product shares. It includes all of the designer paper I showed you tonight. It includes a yard each of the new ribbons. I guess I didn't show you all of them. There were a couple that weren't as part of the suite. So let's get those out really quick. Um, so we've got this one, this beautiful misty moonlight with the white design in there. So gorgeous. My new favorite one, the white herringbone. This is like, um, oh my gosh, how big is this? It looks, I'm trying to grab my ruler. It looks pretty wide. It is th like three quarter inch ribbon here. Um, so the, the white herringbone. And then the last one is this bordered pecan pie. That one's really pretty. Definitely definitive border here with the darker color on the sides. So all of the ribbon, one yard each, will come just like this wrapped around the cardboard. This is the annual catalog product share. And then I also have the option of the um, in color product share which is going to include the in-color products, cardstock, the shimmer paper, designer paper, treat bags, two yards of the ribbon, and a half a package of those in-color dot embellishments. Oh my gosh, this is such a great way to sample everything from the new catalog. So check out the link in the video description um, if you wanna do that. You know what, I have got one more thing to show you, um, and it kind of doesn't really, 
it doesn't necessarily like fit in, but it's available in the online store under branded merchandise. Let me clear some stuff here and show you. Um, there was so much new stuff to order. <laughs> um, it is new grid paper and it comes like this. It comes as one big piece. And when I saw a picture of it, it has both the centimeters and the inches and those rulers are at the top and on the side. But when I saw it, I was like, oh, it looks perfect to cut in half because I miss my small grid paper. So I used my large paper trimmer and I cut it right in half. So I have two pads. They have glue at the top. I've got two pads and now I can use them as a smaller little grid paper instead of having the big paper, which sometimes just feels bulky on my desk. Um, so just an idea if you wanted to get that grid paper and you like the smaller pads, you can cut it in half. So in half, it's about eight and a half by 11 and it does feature those new ink colors. So we've got some, um, a couple sheets of each of the colors, Moody Mauve, Pebbled Path, Copper Clay, Wild Wheat, and the Boho Blue. And it does have, the big sheet is inches and centimeters on the same pad. Um, I will tell you the value, um, you know, this is, I think, 25 sheets. I think there's five each of the five colors. And I want to say it was $9 in the U.S., but don't quote me on that. It is available in the online store for everybody. So if you like grid paper, that's pretty. You can get it. But um, you're paying for the, the color, right? And it's that's a little bit more than the black and white. So we do have just the regular standard grid paper. The pad is a lot bigger. I think it's 50 sheets um, on that pad. But if you like something different, a little pretty, and something I think that would be easy to cut in half, I cut it in half. It comes as one big um, one big sheet, but that's a new item that you can grab if you like that grid paper. Oh my goodness, I feel like I've been talking a lot. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my the peek at my order today and all the card samples that I shared too. Oh, we are going to have so much fun playing with all these new goodies and sharing projects in the coming weeks and months. Make sure that you tune in tomorrow night, 7.15 p.m. Central Time, over on YouTube for Thursday Night Stamp Therapy. I will be casing the catalog. I'm going to show you how to copy and selectively edit all of your favorite projects using the things that you have at home. So tune in tomorrow and I'll be sharing projects as well as the project supply list, which you can find linked in this video right now. Um, it's a great resource if you like to case the catalog. Please give this video a thumbs up our heart on Facebook. If you enjoyed everything that I shared today, thank you so much for tuning in and hanging in with this long video. <laughs> I appreciate all of you and I will definitely be reading all of your comments and responding um, when we're all done. So have a great night and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.